Hello everyone and hello world! Welcome back to my channel and today I have a special interview with <laughs> Rowena special. who is known as It's Wang on her YouTube channel and this is my follow-up interview. So Wang, thank you so much for this yes, interview. Yes, thank and you for inviting me <laughs> here in this beautiful home with <laughs> Sharon Lapu Lapu. Thank you, Sharon. <laughs> okay. Um, update everyone on your channel it's amazing growth and your content today tomorrow and the future uh yeah as of the moment like i'm overwhelmed and really thankful of the support i got from my subscribers uh my channel is like four months old but i'm amazed how it grows so fast mm -hmm. with the support of these beautiful people at the car current moment i am um, and 3,800 subscribers <laughs> and thank you guys and to all my subscribers and for you to uh, support Sharon and me as well yes okay what do you attribute your channel's rapid success to do you think collaboration interviews are one of many reasons I, yeah, Sharon, I, I, I really believe that I got my subscribers from your channel mm -hmm. and my uh, Philippine Good Retirement time. channel, Shine Shine Shoulders and Faulty. Like collaboration helps me a lot and I'm really grateful to you guys to help me to like, you know, kind of make my channel grow. Yeah. Yes. Okay. What were your thoughts before starting a YouTube channel and what are they since being monetized and successful? Oh yeah, uh, uh, the thought of like creating a YouTube channel, <laughs> of course, money because mm -hmm. I want to earn more money. Yeah, and I was just, yes, I was just trying to find an extra way to make money because, you know, for the boys. And now that my channel is like kind of like, I must say it's already successful mm -hmm. because of the support I got from uh, 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 subscribers that really supports me beyond words. And, you know, like it's a beautiful feeling to mm -hmm. be yes. like, you know, when you know that someone appreciates of the content mm. you create and and they are very and they're happy and supportive about your content it's just feeling like great thank yes. you <laughs> have um how have your children adjusted to their mom being a youtuber <laughs> <laughs> though they understand youtube and though they watch your channel as well because uh <laughs> me laura is like seems like oh i i um my mom is youtuber so <laughs> if there are some subscriber no my mom they are familiar to me no uh, um, yeah i was so like the way my boys is very supportive they are my cameraman mm. and they are like you know kind of like if i gonna say oh we're gonna go out today i'm gonna take a video kind of like we're gonna go restaurant they're gonna say hi to the mm. camera i must say that my sons are very supportive to my youtube channel mm. as they know that mm. that's it's all for them as well so yes and they're watching my videos i force them to watch <laughs> because they don't understand the content of course yes it's not for them but i told them view my videos view my videos so they support it in a way like they're gonna view but you know we're not they're not focused into it you know <laughs> yes we are so very lucky because yeah. our children is well yeah beautiful children yes, yes. Has your love life changed since you become a vlogger? <laughs> What's your no, status no. now? Available? Not ready? Waiting for Mr. Right? Or not interested for the moment? Waiting for Mr. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, waiting for Mr. Right. That sounds great. Okay. <laughs> Have any of your subscribers asked you to marry them or tell you they are in love with you? And if so, how? Do you handle it? I think, uh, yeah, I've encountered three subscribers who kind of like, you know, propose the mm -hmm. marriage, but I don't think they're serious about it because obviously it's a joke. Yeah. When you propose a marriage to your, like, to the person you didn't even yeah. meet in person, obviously it's not serious, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't take it seriously, really. Like, that kind of proposal <laughs> is funny. <laughs> it made me laugh, though. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. You attend the meet and greet in Dumaguete and in yes. Lapu-Lapu. What mm. is your opinion 
of both meet and greets and do you believe they are good networking opportunities or not please explain ah yes the difference between domageri domageri we held the meet and greet in a like you know a kind of fancy kind of to me is a fancy restaurant because air condition and it's like a close area mm. and it's comfortable because the space is wide but in lapu lapu as we went uh it's kind of an open area and uh, like you know uh, it's humid and mm. you know i can we can i can my personal opinion i don't like i don't like really so much because the smokes we can we can't blame i i'm not i'm just trying mm -hmm. to be honest like you know because it's an open area everyone expect to smoke in there those customers yeah. in the restaurant that love smoking they're gonna sit in the area that we are doing it we're holding the meet and greet so yes that's the different the, the humidity is so much in the place that we were you know yeah, went in here in lapu lapu whereas that area i can't uh, really offer i think um i forget that I the 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 MB, what's mm -hmm. that but yes that's the difference and it's a good opportunity i can socializing uh, another youtubers and i hope that everyone is just kind of gonna say hi mm -hmm. but and to get an experience that was fun because fun. everyone is saying hi to each other everyone is saying oh how are you what how's your channel going how, how it's going but and like you know i've noticed in the lapu lapu meet and greet some other like don't yeah kind don't, of like maybe. yeah not say hi but it's 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 their thing yeah mm -hmm. okay have you received any flowers or gift from your admirers if so <laughs> how did you react if not do you want to receive them <laughs> sharon it's this is the second time you've asked me still not <laughs> oh so the the like you know the guy who's gonna send me flower i'm gonna marry him <laughs> kidding. no i don't receive flowers i don't know why probably it's because i i don't uh did did think that i'm not interested at the moment but yeah i mean like you know flowers is expensive you better like send me rice than flowers <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Being if ever, if ever there will be a guy who would like to send flowers on you, uh, um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not gonna get my address, though. <laughs> I'm not sure. No comments for that for now. <laughs> okay. What would your response be to a subscriber who wants to come here and mm -hmm. Cebu yeah. pay to you? pay for your annulment and take and responsibility for your family would you believe him or meet him and how would you handle it i think if he's gonna say like oh i'm gonna come to the cebu i'm gonna see you and i'm gonna spend uh like i'm gonna pay your annulment and everything covered your kids and stuff uh it's not a good idea because in the first place he don't know me yet yes. in person we all we know sharon talking in a like you know okay. in a camera and mm -hmm. online i mean and then in a person it's quite different so if someone's like you know gonna say that to me i gonna say i'll i'll meet you we would have a conversation and let's mm -hmm. see from there where it goes just like that i mean yes. okay are you planning on doing any and country different locations such as Tagaytay, Baguio, Boracay, Iloilo or other <laughs> popular location why or why not? Uh, that would be nice opportunity I think but traveling you know it's <laughs> expensive <laughs> expensive at the moment so we don't know when later when the tra mm. uh, our channel grow your channel is already <laughs> grow enough enough growth so I mean like we don't know if probably if we have opportunity that would yes. be nice but at the moment i'm gonna try to covering it up here in cebu what we could offer in here mm. in cebu in lapu lapu the next city would be nice but later who knows we don't yes know. <laughs> who knows because we mm. we like travel yeah. so that we can experience we like travel but the thing is like we can't afford so yes. that's the thing but we're having fun right here. yes Many Filipina bloggers are able to visit nearby countries such as Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia, mm -hmm. Bali, and Hong Kong. Yes. They are not being off-boarded and are off-loaded. If they prove they are bloggers, please name three mm -hmm. countries nearby you would like to visit and why. Uh, 
I like to go Cambodia. I like to go uh, Thailand and Malaysia because uh, Malaysia, there is uh, where is that Bali? Uh, Bali, Indonesia. Indonesia. Oh yeah, okay. Forget about Malaysia. <laughs> Bali. Uh -huh. I want to go that Bali, Bali because I like sunset so much. Mm -hmm. I like sunset. I like the views like that. So yes, Thailand. Like you know, I hear that Thailand is nice. Yes. So yeah, out of curiosity, I gonna travel as well with you. <laughs> Yeah, because we are planning to, we are speaking about, I mean, we yeah. have a conversation about traveling yeah, Thailand. Traveling, so yes. we will continue that. And then we are slowly now getting the documents. Yes, hopefully. Uh, yeah, hopefully we are not be offloaded, but <laughs> yeah. we will sure that we are not offloaded. Yeah, we, wanna, uh, we we just have to process everything and see. Yes. And three years as well, because <laughs> it's, it will help a lot more yes. than anything else. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there are so many young and sexy Filipinas mm -mm. that are starting their own YouTube channel to yes. earn money mm -hmm. and to meet and communicate foreigners. Yes. What are your thoughts on this and the increased competition as well as their youthful advantage and sexiness? But we are also sexy. <laughs> yeah, I think when you, the most mm -hmm. sexy Sharon, when you understand life already, when you're matured enough already, but I'm not saying the younger teen girls, like the started YouTube, mm -hmm. they don't understand life and they're not sexy. I think they have their own space in YouTube and us, yeah. we have <laughs> our own space in YouTube as well. So that's just it. Like we, like what the maturity, the mature woman is kind of like, more advantage in mm -hmm. my own opinion because there are a lot of guys that wanted to hear a perspective from a mature yes. woman in in here so and of course like a younger generation they have their own ideas as well but that's for us like yes. mature woman yeah okay please name three european or western countries you would like to visit if ever had the chance or opportunity so okay first thing uh i'm really curious about usa because they say it's a big <laughs> country yes. so and it's a uh, kind of like it's challenging to get in because it's 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 i've heard that america it's really hard to get in there so mm -hmm. it's kind of a proud feeling when you can be in there later on mm -hmm. but and then where is that uh eiffel tower it's uh fun. paris I it's Paris. Paris, so where France. is that France? Okay, France, and then I can't think some other else like European. What else? Suggest so Nisha because that's Scotland. <laughs> Scotland, Scotland is, is nice. nice. Oh yeah, we get Paul T channel. Yes, so yes, <laughs> probably I can travel with Paul. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. I have one daughter, and yes. although I live a better life than before. Yes. I still can live on 10,000 pesos monthly if necessary. What minimum amount can you live on every month or do you live in now? Oh, I think it, that is including for the foods and mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah, with the four boys, because I am I'm very like, I am kind of like, you know, a budget kind of person because of the boys. Mm -hmm. I can live like around... I get uh, my salary now, including the rent. I can leave my fourteen thousand salary for a mm. month, but that's without the emergency kind of oh, thing. Yes. yes, so it's very risky to live that life always. So yes, fourteen thousand is enough with including the rent, the electricity, and the water bill. But yes, that's uh, the fourteen thousand is good. But we can sometimes like, if there's an emergency you need to borrow yes. but i don't want to position myself into that mm -hmm. kind of you know situation okay how do you find the time to work at your hospital job mm -hmm. take care of your kids and then make content for your channel what's your daily routine like uh the daily routine is like you know in the morning we got up i my four boys work in the morning mm -hmm. they have their other one is cooking that with rice i gonna cook the the what's the name of the the the, the, the pork mm -hmm. and fish and whatever dishes we can eat but morning during morning is quick sunny side up egg mm -hmm. just like that and then uh some the other one is gonna do the laundry and me 
I gonna do the stuff that he can't do. Mm. So the other one is fixing the bed, and I put my uh, time during, during if I just gonna work, for example, six a.m. to two p.m. Two p.m. from six p.m. I gonna work on mm. the video, like editing the video. And during my off, usually like today, mm. uh, that's the time I gonna go around and make videos. Ah, yes. Okay. Yeah, here in the Philippines, we teach our children to do household work. Yes, Even yes. if they are younger. Mm -mm. Okay. It's because you just need it in a long run yes. in life. Yeah, that's what I feel like you yes. have to learn, especially boys. Yes, even my daughter, Laura, she clean her own room sometimes yeah. and cook her <laughs> own food. Sometimes. Because, <laughs> yes, because sometimes she eat bread with ham during dinner that's all she eats oh mm -hmm. really yeah it's easy your your, your daughter yeah. is easier than my boys uh, <laughs> okay what is your opinion of the idea of the two of us traveling and blogging overseas as single mm -hmm. mom and yes. creating new content and adventure travels for our channel and subscriber is it idea that could become a reality why or why not Oh, I think Sharon, that's really a great idea. Mm -hmm. I like the thought of that because in the first place, I like you so much, your maturity, <laughs> and yes. we think almost the same, and we can understand about mother thing, and we're understanding about like how is life. I mean, I got a lot of friends. I got my best friend Maria, mm -hmm. but with Sharon is different because we can do the blog, we can talk about mother, we yes. can talk about being a Filipina, being matured. There's a lot to talk if you are with Sharon. <laughs> so, yes, that's going to be so interesting. I'm excited for that. Stuff. Yes, <laughs> really. The plan. You know, I like to have conversation also because we are in the same level. We have a single mom. Yes. And then uh, we it. have also encountered some different things yeah. happened. And yeah. then, difficulties. especially, yeah, difficulties because <laughs> it's not easy to, it's to raise not, child so, to be yeah. a single mom. Me and Sharon can talk all night long. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. This is the end of the interview. Yes. And thank you, Wang. Thank and, you for um, inviting me yeah, in your yes. beautiful home. So uh -huh. I really do appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Her YouTube channel link is in the video description. Yes, and guys. Please, please subscribe <laughs> Wang's channel and my channel also. And yes, still Sharon. continue watching and supporting to our both yes, channels yes. so thank, thank you. you thank you so much god bless everyone bye guys stay safe <laughs>